Greetings friends of the spiritual kingdom. Today we are going to explain all of the dimensions and talk about the great fifth dimensional shift that is happening in our planet. First of all, let's explain what exactly are dimensions. Dimensions are not places or locations. They are levels of consciousness that vibrate at a certain frequency. There exist numerous dimensions. The fourth and fifth are simply higher than the one we've been living in. Ascension into even higher dimensions will continue even after we've reached the fifth. Each dimension vibrates at a higher rate than the one below. In each higher dimension, there exists a clearer, wider perspective of reality, a greater level of knowing. We experience more freedom, greater power, and more opportunity to create reality. In order for a higher dimension to be available to us, we need to vibrate in resonance with it. Shifting from one level of consciousness to the next higher one means becoming established on it so we don't get pulled back. The third dimension. First of all, it's important to understand that the third dimension is not the things you see. The table, the tree, the earth. These are forms. All things in form are still present in the fourth dimension and to some degree in the fifth as well. There is simply more light filled and not as dense and substantial. The third dimension is a state of consciousness that is very limited and restricted because we've been living in this third dimensional reality for so many lifetimes. We tend to assume that this is the only reality available to live in. We think this is simply what is reality, not realizing it's a very limited experience of reality. The third dimensional operating system runs on limited beliefs and a fairly inflexible set of rules and limitations. For example, in the third dimension, we learn to believe that bodies are solid. They can't merge with each other or walk through walls. Everything is subject to gravity. Physical objects cannot disappear and we cannot read another person's mind. There's a solid belief in duality and judgment and fear are pervasive. The fourth dimension. This is the bridge we are all pretty much on now and will be for a relatively short period of time. In traveling through the fourth dimension, we are preparing ourselves for the fifth one. Many of us have had experiences of the fourth dimension for a number of years now without realizing it. We can know we're experiencing the fourth dimension when we have moments of spiritual awakening and experiences of heart opening. Other times, it can happen when we're simply feeling clear and quiet inside. Everything within and around us feels lighter. There's a sense of spaciousness and upliftment. Time is no longer linear in the fourth dimension. There's an ongoing sense of being in present time with no interest or even awareness of past and future. And we can discover that the time is plastic. It can actually stretch and condense much to our third dimensional surprise. Manifestation is much faster in the fourth dimension. Something we simply think about can show up very quickly. In general, when we're experiencing joy, love, and gratitude, we're experiencing fourth dimensional consciousness. The fifth dimension. This great dimension has been described as the dimension of love and living totally from the heart. In order to enter into the fifth dimension and stay there, all mental and emotional baggage must be left at the door. No fear, anger, hostility, or guilt exists there. No suffering or sense of separation. Mastery over thought is a prerequisite. Manifestation in the fifth dimension is instantaneous. You think about something, it comes present. People generally communicate through telepathy and have the ability to read each other's thoughts and feelings with ease. The experience of time is radically different. Some describe it 
as everything happening at once. There is no distinction between past, present, or future. Many of us are having experiences or dreams that feel like visits to the fifth dimension. These experiences are exhilarating, tremendously exciting, and hopeful. They keep us moving on through the difficulties that sometimes arise as we travel through the fourth and into the fifth dimension. Transitional times. We are currently in what's been called transitional times or the end times. These are the times in which we are experiencing the death of third dimensional reality, while at the same time beginning to travel through new and unknown landscapes of the fourth dimension. In essence, one whole structure of reality is collapsing while a new one is emerging. It's to be expected that some chaos, confusion, and disorientation will reign both within and around us as we attempt to adapt to a whole new way of experiencing reality. Many of us are beginning to experience radical changes in our lives. As we enter into these times, everything that does not serve us in shifting into a higher dimension has to fall away. This can include old relationships, lifetime careers, approaches to life we've traditionally taken, or any limited or negative thoughts and emotions that holds us in a lower vibration. Fortunately, we can now get a great help in making the transition to a higher vibration. Beings from higher dimensions are more present and eager to assist us. We simply need to ask for their help. We can also become aware of the flooding of divine light that's currently arriving from the higher dimensions. So releasing old patterns and negative emotions is getting easier and easier if we have the clear intention of letting them go. Many sources tell us we can take our physical bodies with us if we choose to dive into the fifth dimension. Some say that although other planets and galaxies have shifted into higher dimensions before in the history of the universe, this is the first time that souls in incarnation on a planet are going to be taking their physical vehicles with them into the higher dimension. Doing this is seen as the next step in humanity's evolution. It seems important for us to really take care of our bodies at this time. Radical transformation can be hard on the body, causing pain, aches, exhaustion, and flu-like symptoms. According to Ascension teachings, the Earth and all beings living on the planet are in the process of shifting into a whole new level of reality in which prevails a consciousness of love, compassion, peace, and spiritual wisdom. Some say this shift will probably be complete within the next couple of decades. Others give no date, but all seem to agree it will be complete sometime in the near future. Although individuals will be each moving into the fifth dimension at their own rate when their frequency is high enough to match the vibration of the higher dimension, most teachings state that the shift the Earth and humanity are taking into the fifth dimension has been planned for eons. Also, that it has already been happening in the last few decades. December 21, 2012 was a date that was given as the midpoint of the shift taking place and that it will continue to unfold in more and more obvious ways, picking up speed as time passes. When that golden age comes, all people will be living in peace and harmony, experiencing oneness with all of life. Fully respecting all people and the earth itself. Love and compassion flowing through all communications. Equality, justice, and respect for all human beings reigning on the planet. No more hunger, poverty, or crime. Abundance available to all. Everyone living without fear, with complete trust in the divine. Everyone awake to the majestic divine, interdimensional beings, they truly are. When we reach that fifth dimensional state of being, people will be able to freely communicate 
with beings from other planets and galaxies and traveling to distant parts of the universe with these beings. It may sound insane, but when you think of it, haven't we all had dreams of living in a world like this? Are these dreams just figments of our imagination, or are they memories of what we once experienced thousands and thousands of years ago, and at some point, lost, as we descended into the kind of world we know of today, filled with struggle, suffering, and lack of direct connection with the divine? Do these dreams perhaps come from intuitions about the future that is in store for us? Many of us are having these intuitive feelings. Some are having clear visions, others are inwardly hearing about the reality of humanity's future. Some of us feel we have been waiting thousands of years for these times we are now entering. If we seek deeply within ourselves, we may find that these dreams of an ideal and peaceful world are actually both a distant memory of what we once experienced eons ago and an intuitive glimpse into what is now beginning to happen on our beautiful planet. Our longing to return to this ideal world is simply a yearning to finally return home to this beautiful world ahead of us. The question might arise, how can this possibly happen? How can this world turn around from where it is today and become this utopian kind of world? There is still so much darkness on the planet. Wars, hatred, prejudice, and injustice. The answer is twofolded. First, thousands of people on the planet are now experiencing an awakening of the heart at an unprecedented rate, and this awakening appears to be speeding up as time goes by. Not everyone on the planet at this time is making the choice, consciously or unconsciously, to make the shift into the fifth dimension. All souls have the choice to enter the fifth dimension given they have assimilated sufficient light to hold the energy levels that exist in that higher vibration. But many will be choosing to leave the Earth within the next couple of decades to move on to other third dimensional experiences in other parts of the universe. They will not have finished with what third dimensional reality has still to teach them. Those who are choosing to stay and make the shift with the Earth will be going through some intense and rapid changes as their bodies and minds make the radical changes needed to shift into the higher consciousness required for moving into the fifth dimension. If you feel a resonance with the information in this video, it's likely you've decided, either consciously or unconsciously, to shift with the Earth into the fifth dimension in this lifetime. If so, you have the choice to simply allow life to transform you, sometimes in uncomfortable ways, especially if you have any resistance to change. Life will do the job for you, or you can choose to actively cooperate with the shifts taking place inside you. You can consciously let go of old patterns, release negative emotions, judgments, and thoughts, and work on keeping your vibration high at all times. This effort will likely ensure that your journey through the fourth dimension will be a lot smoother and even perhaps more rapid. But there's no right way to make this journey. We each have to do it the way that's best for us. One way or another, we will make it into the new reality that lies before us. What an exciting time to be alive. Thank you for watching. Please give us a like and join our spiritual kingdom by clicking the subscribe button.